Hi, this is Deborah, and it is Sunday. I think it's the last day of May, and uh, I don't feel so good, so that's why I'm videotaping laying down. Um, I actually took, um, I guess, what was it? A uh, sleeping pill that was too strong, and it just gave me a headache. I, I'm very sensitive to medication, so I have to like take a third or fourth. I have to remember this, but I keep forgetting. But uh, I have my Victoria's Secret sparkly top. I just think it's beautiful. But today I want to talk about ways, surefire ways to ruin a vacation. Number one is to go with someone else. Okay, there's your first problem. <laughs> of course, you can't have too much fun by yourself. Maybe you can't. The other thing is not to go with the flow. I go with the flow with everybody. Uh, wherever I go, I am a great, um, what is it? I hang well with the locals. Whatever the locals are doing, I go do. But when you're on vacation with other people who are like, I call them stick in the muds, um, they're set in their ways. Uh, they they don't want to go to this. They don't want to go in the sun. We'll sit in the shade, okay? But don't ruin everybody else's time. Sit in the shade with your sun hat and your glasses, or put on SPF 100. You know, but don't ruin everybody else's fun because you don't like the sun. Because everything that is fun happens to be outside, usually. Uh, another thing is if. If you don't have extra money to go shopping, you know, don't say, well, I don't want to go shopping. Uh, go window shopping, you know. It's all about your frame of mind. And um, if you don't want to go to a particular restaurant because you don't like Italian, keep your mouth shut. Order a salad. I'm sure they've got a hot dog or something on the menu. But go with the flow. Go with what the majority wants. Don't be that one person who always gets their way or sways the vote, you know, because I call that being a difficult person. And I have gone on a lot of vacations like that. Or you get someone who's in charge of the radio. And I know I'm guilty of that, but I always had this rule. Whoever's driving gets to choose. But if there's multiple people in the car who haven't seen each other in a while or the the uh, conversation in the back seat's more interesting than what the hell you've got on the radio. Turn off the radio. You know, let let people converse because very few people anymore. They've always got their electronics. Let them talk. Turn off your music. You know, uh, let other people in the car talk if that's what they're doing, and don't don't jack up the music because you know they are talking because uh, I think the art of conversation is a lot really and a lost art um, another thing is if you can't walk or uh, then get a wheelchair <laughs> it's that simple but if other people want to go somewhere where they're walking then you make amends you don't be the one that changes, you know, like, then then go sit down on a bench. I know I just recently went on vacation to Ocean City and I couldn't hardly walk, so I sat on the bench. I let other people go do their thing. Because <clears throat> I do have good days and I have bad days. I have days where I can walk out, walk out anybody, you know. But there's some days, no, can't. But I don't keep other people from having their day or their fun. Um... Let's see, what else can ruin, oh, uh, when someone is arguing over five cents on the bill. Actually, during the argument, if you had to uh, get paid for your time or other people's time, it, it costs a whole lot more to argue over five cents, you know, unless it's a really big era. But I have been on so many vacations where someone in the room got overcharged and they spend two hours talking to management you know, that's just too much, you know, guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. Also, also sunburns. Some vacations I've been on where, you you know, the matriarch of the family or whoever usually is the brightest tells other people to wear their sunscreen and the other ones don't. Um, and then they complain the next two days. They're sunburned. They're blistered. They can't move. 
and everybody else is stuck in the house because someone didn't put on their sunscreen. You know, you have to reapply sunscreen. I think it's almost every 20, 30 minutes, you know, keep it in your purse. They now have sunscreen where you can hook it right on your purse. But I have had so many vacations ruined by people who don't wear sunscreen and also sunglasses. And uh, let's see, what else can ruin a vacation? Um, oh, if you run out of money and you start spending everybody else's, that's a no-no. Uh, if you budget your money on a daily basis, then, you know, then you shouldn't run out of money if you've budgeted correctly. Or um, a good way to save money is to split a meal. If you know it's a restaurant that serves a, a lot of uh, food, you know, split it with two people. But if that one person orders a mixed drink, then it kind of throws the whole bill off. Then you got to get out the calculator, you know. So if you are on a budget, um, I, I, what can I say? Um, I mean, a lot, a lot of restaurants don't even want a separate tab if you've got four or five people at the table. But it does get confusing if you're the one ordering mixed drinks and nobody else is. Also, <clears throat> if you're one of these people who don't drink alcohol, don't impose your views or your religion or whatever it is. Or maybe you're a, 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 an alcoholic and, you know, whatever. Don't impose your views on the other people who do want to have a drink. That also really puts a damper on um, people on a vacation. A lot of people only drink on vacations, you know. But but just because you don't drink, keep your mouth shut. Just keep your mouth shut. The only time you should ever speak your mind if someone is doing something dangerous or they're getting behind the wheel, yeah, then then you should. Because if you don't, then you, you're just as negligent. But uh, there's so many people who will never get asked on vacations again. Uh, another another thing is when someone gets lost. You know, if you're one of if you're on vacation with some of these people who have a tendency to get lost and then they have a panic attack, anxiety attack, I wouldn't even bring those people on a vacation anymore. Uh, they get some severe mental problems, or either that, or put a GPS tracker on them. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe you can triangulate their smartphone. But, uh, yeah, anybody who has severe anxiety attacks when they're lost, there's no such thing as being lost anymore because everybody, you know, should have a smartphone or they can ask somebody where are they at, you know. And so I know if you're, if you're lost and you're trying to contact your party to see, you know, where you're at, you've got to know a store near you. Because now you can just Google the store and it'll come up the address. Or you got to know a cross street. You got to uh, have two. You just can't say I'm on like Butler Road because Butler Road could ha could be 20 miles long. You have to to go to the nearest um, intersecting street, I guess you should say. But so I hope these hints has helped you and hope you have a great time on your next vacation. Bye.